Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. 2023 brought us three great hyped note-taking apps. These were quite hyped in late 2022 and in the start of 2023. And the first one I'm going to touch on is actually called Tana. And I have a bias towards this because it has Norwegian founders and a lot of the team are Norwegian and a lot of them live in the same county as me as well. So I have, a, being Norwegian, I have a bias towards this, but I haven't actually made it work for my brain and made it work for me. But there are a lot of people doing a lot of cool things with this app. So they have AI in focus. They are working towards building a knowledge base or a productivity tool uh, and leveraging AI. Uh, so it is built from the ground up for AI. And it uses something called nodes, which is basically bullet points. And you can have nodes within a node. So I could store a bullet point inside of the bullet point and I could keep going like this. Uh, which is great if you're into outliners. So if you're using something like Rome Research or LogSec, this is probably a great alternative. One thing they don't have yet is a graph view, which is something I like a lot because if you find one idea, it is so easy to find multiple different ideas that are related to the one idea you found. That's basically how our brain works. You think of something and then you think of something else that is connected to that thing. So I love having a graph view. This isn't something Thana has made yet. I believe that it will come because they have a graph uh, on their website. They have a graph view on their website. So I'm anticipating that it will come someday. But one thing they have added is actually a calendar view. So you can make your own databases or your uh, own Kanban boards or even calendars using the uh, Tana live search and live searches are actually quite cool. So you can press command K and you can find a note with a specific tag. So let's use the book uh, note for this one. And once you have this, you can easily go in and create yourself a table and you can create different filters and you can have multiple different live searches which creates the databases and creating databases based off uh, an outline is actually quite cool. It makes it a lot easier to capture things and to write things down quite fast and then you can just use a tag to actually organize it which is really cool. It makes organization quite easy inside of the app. The only thing you have to do is tag your things properly but it comes with a learning curve. I have not been able to figure out how this app works. I It might be because I am completely stupid but I haven't been able to figure it out yet. It also has a daily page as well as an inbox and you can create yourself different workspaces if you want to. Uh, so I only use this one workspace one when I actually use this app. This is just for testing different things out. But this is my personal workspace. And as I said, you have a daily node, you have an inbox, you have a quick capture, and you can even capture voice. Any type add, no, no, Tana added, I have been talking too much about any type, but Tana actually added the calendar this year, which is a huge improvement as well as their Tana capture app. So this is quite similar to what a lot of note-taking apps have before they actually make a full mobile app. It is a way for you to capture new notes, but you can't actually read the notes on your mobile phone, on your mobile device. Tana capture works quite similarly to what Heptabase had before they got their mobile app. So you can easily capture new things and they will appear in your inbox, but you can't see all of the things inside of your workspace. So that's the two huge improvements Tana have done this year. There are, of course, many more improvements. They keep on improving the app, but these are the huge ones. And Tana is a great choice for an outliner because it has backlinks it 
as databases, which is really, really cool inside of an app like this. And the live searches as well as the super tags are the coolest part about this app. So super tags are very close to something you find with tagging inside of Heptabase. Now let's jump into the second tool. So the next app we got here is called Capacities and Capacities is an object-based note-taking app. For those of you familiar with any type, it is the same as any type. Things are objects. Uh, and I really didn't understand this app until I figured out any type and it made it a lot easier for me to use something like capacities as well. I am currently not using capacities or Tana. I am using any type as my note taking app out of these three, but any, uh, but capacities is a great choice as well. They have backlinks like you would see inside of any type and Tana as well, and they have a graph view. So if I jump into one of my pages, I can see the graph view and you can see how things are connected uh, together. They have just like uh, Tana and any type, they have databases as well, where you can add different filters and you can see them as a wall, a list, a gallery, or a table. So no calendar functionality here, but they have a calendar here, a calendar page, a daily page with a calendar next to it, so you could jump through different days. They have great integrations with different task managers as well. So if you, for example, like using Todoist, this app works perfectly because you can integrate Todoist into the app. They have a beautiful user interface, which I like a lot. Uh, you can have it in uh, dark mode or light mode. I prefer um, personally dark mode, but for the videos I tend to use light mode. And it is a simple note-taking app once you have understand uh, understood the ideas with object-based note-taking. It is a lot easier to learn in my opinion than something like Tana or any type. Uh, and it provides you with everything you need inside of a note-taking app, and it is really a great Notion alternative. And they are developing the app quite fast. Uh, I haven't played around too much with this. Again, I ended up using AnyType instead, which is the third app we will take a look at, and probably the app I will talk the most about. But it has a really cool interface and looks really beautiful and they have a mobile app on the paid plan as well but they also have an integration with whatsapp so you can text yourself uh, notes like you can do inside of mem so that's basically what i have for capacities now let's jump into the third one the third one is actually my note-taking app which is called any type. I have been using this a lot to manage my social media. So this has everything related to my social media. And as you can see, it has a really beautiful graph view. Uh, I, As I said, I love a graph view, but the most beautiful graph view I found is actually inside of any type. They have done a really good job at using uh, the graph and creating a great graph view. You can have multiple spaces just like you can have inside of Tana and inside of Capacity. So I will jump over to my YouTube test space, which I use to make YouTube videos. This has a huge learning curve to it. And because of uh, a lot of the words they are using, like databases are sets and collections, and you have uh, relations as well. It takes a little bit of time until you learn the app. But if you want to learn it, I have quite a few good videos on it, if I can say so myself. It is, uh, as I said, a great note-taking app. This year they have gone out of alpha and into beta, and um, they have added a calendar view as well. That is actually a quite new feature as and so is the multiple uh, spaces update and they are 
developing the app quite fast. One thing they aren't doing is actually creating good documentation videos, which I know a lot of people want. Uh, that's why I make tutorial videos, because I know a lot of people want to have a better documentation so it is easier to learn how you can use the app. But this has one big difference from something like capacities and maybe it is the main selling point of any type. First of all, it is uh, open source. And secondly, it stores your files locally. So you will be able to access the files even if you don't use any type. It uses Markdown, so you can find the tiny Markdown files inside of your local device, which is great because it makes it super fast. It is really secure. And in my case, I don't care too much about security. People can see my notes. I show my notes online all of the time. And most of the things that I don't want to show anybody is inside of my physical notebooks. However, the point I care about is the fact that it is super fast because it is local. And I love a fast note taking app. It has databases as well. So I will show you one of the databases here. Let's take a look at my resources. So this is my resources and it has a database where you can have multiple different views. So you can have a grid view, a gallery, a list, a Kanban, and even a calendar view. Uh, so I have chosen to go for any type because it was the one I could understand and I have fallen in love with this app. But all three apps are great options if you're looking for something new. Maybe you are leaving something like LogSec and want to try out Tana instead. Or you want to quit Notion and try something else out. Capacities, Tana and AnyType are great options. And I'm excited to see how they will develop into the next year. Tana is still in early access, so you will still need to wait to get an invite, but it is worth the wait, or so I've heard from people who actually understand it. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching.